April 22nd, 2024. How's it going, guys? Well, I got another video for you. Oh, it's a doozy. A lot of stuff going on this weekend. Now, I haven't posted a lot because I'm still waiting on parts for my vehicle. I'm supposed to get the other part today. I got some major repair stuff I'm going to be doing. And uh, if they don't hurry, I'm going to probably be waiting until next week to get it done because I'm going to lose my window because there's some bad storms that's supposed to be coming in here about midweek all through the weekend. It's supposed to be solid raining every day almost. Let's hope not. Let's hope they're wrong about that. But let's get started. What are we going to talk about? Kansas City. Independence, Missouri. Don't want to forget Raytown. And all the other areas. We're going to talk about drugs. We're going to talk about crime. And we're going to talk about the homeless. So, let's start back last this last weekend, Friday. I was going to start with a, a Monday morning here. Where... Uh, Basically, I'm driving my uh, son's vehicle and uh, got over here off uh, 291 and 23rd Street. And there was this, I think it was a Latin, it could have been maybe a Latin black mix, but it was a, it looked like an Independence cop in a vehicle and it was booming around 7.30 a.m. Now, the music wasn't too loud. It wasn't really music. It was just a boom, boom, boom with no, no, no words whatsoever. But what I found strange, and my pet peeve is, I don't like those temp tags that are expired. Because people aren't paying their taxes, and we know that a police officer is supposed to uphold the law. You know, they take an oath. Now hold on just a minute, guys. Hold on just a second. Okay, guys, I'm back. And let's see if I get my phone to do its thing here so I can read this. It says, as a law enforcement officer, I do solemnly swear that my fundamental duty is to serve the community, to safeguard lives and property, to protect the innocent against deception, the weak against oppression or intimidation, and the peaceful and, and peaceful against violence or disorder, and to respect the constitutional rights of all. And then it goes on to say, what is the law enforcement oath of ethics with no compromise for crime with relentless prosecution of criminals? I will enforce the law. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see what does that say here? Curti courteously and appropriately without fear of favor, malice, ill will, never employing unnecessary force or violence, and never accepting gratitude. And then it says, why would a local police officer be expected to swear an oath to uphold the U.S. Constitution? Final answer. Local police officers swear an oath to uphold the U.S. Constitution to ensure that to protect the rights enshrined in the Bill of Rights, affirm their role in preserving public order within constitutional bounds, and uphold the Constitution as the supreme law of the land. There you go, guys. So, if you see a police officer, and say he's driving his own vehicle, and he doesn't have license plates, or he's got expired tags on there, I mean, he isn't any better than anybody else. He's supposed to actually be held accountable a little bit above that. He's supposed to be, you know, making sure that he's doing the right thing. Now, I'm going to show this vehicle. Now, it's kind of strange, like I say, this got expired tag on it, and, uh, this gentleman, he made a point. Now, he could have been impersonating uh, a police officer, maybe. Could have been somebody. I mean, we did have one out here on 40 Highway that used to used to dress up actually out by the tool shed on a motorcycle. And he would dress up as a cop and go up and down 40 Highway. You know, they say if you're ever in doubt, you get on, call 911. You turn your flashers on your car and you drive five or ten miles an hour, you know, until the other police officers can get there to affirm or to communicate or 911 or dispatch can confirm that that is a real police officer. That is a thing to do when in doubt. Because there's been a lot of them that I actually impersonate people that 
you know, aren't actually police officers. So I'm going to show this real quick, but I was going to show Friday too. I got so much here. I probably got four to six hours of bad stuff that's happened. And most today, I had some things I needed to do. And I just kept boom, 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 running into this. As I went to the zoo, I still got a lot of videos to get out of the zoo. And unbelievable, something else right from over here, right from over here on East 47th Street, going all the way through Raytown, all the way through Kansas City, Missouri. And you know how like these rental car places are dealing, some of them are dealing, not cars, but they're on drugs and stuff. But this was a car that should have never been on the road. It was it actually endangering people's lives. The back of the end of the, of the wheel axle was bent at a 45 degree angle like this. I drove, I wanted to see what if it went to one of the, you know, dealers where they were going to drop this off. Because there was another car that was running shotgun behind it too. And it pulled in behind it try try to hide it. But this car was so bad that it was swerving all over the lines of the road, too. Not counting, I got one from Friday night, too. I need to see if I can find it for you guys. That they were intoxicated up here on 435. And there was a truck that was going. I had to wait to try to get around it because he was so intoxicated. He had his he, he turned his right signal on and he got over in the center lane. And then he goes over and then he comes back. And then I, I had to hold back. Because didn't know which way this guy was going. But I'm going to show what I got over down off 23rd Street too. <laughs> well, you know that area where they were hooking? Well, there ain't no... Uh, 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 well, put it this way. There wasn't gals there this time. There was a... You know, what What did they... What was that song? A Funky Call Medina uh, with the Oscar Mayer wiener? <laughs> Not good, guys. This guy was hooking over there off 23rd Street. Right over by the bar, right over that other bar over there. Oh, we're going to show it, guys. That's the independence here. And uh, like I say, I don't know. And like I say, maybe this guy, maybe, you know, maybe it was nothing. Maybe, maybe, you know, maybe he was just impersonate. Maybe, but he looked like a real independence cop. And uh, it had, actually, it had a, actually a car dealer tag like on the front of it, you know, with the lo some kind of logo and expired 23 temp tag in back. So let's get started. I got a lot to show. I got about 28 minutes on this. And man, there is a lot going on here in Kansas City, Independence, Missouri, and Raytown. And one other thing, drove 18 miles and I finally turned around past Bannister out there and came back because I just wanted to see if, if this car was going to actually pull into one of these uh, car dealers. Well, he is probably going way further out than that. I wasn't going to go any further, but I just wanted to see. But in the 18 miles between East 47th Street, all through Raytown, all through Kansas City, Missouri, not one cop car. Not one. Hold on, guys. Okay, guys. Now, my dates are not correct on this because I do not anymore reset my dash cams because I have to pull these SD cards in and out and turn them on and off so much. So, if you see a different date on here, that's not it. This was actually a Friday night here. Now, I wanted to show this. And this here is our, uh, I guess it's our uh, short, short Oscar Mayer Wiener guy down here by the old bar coming up. So I'm going to back this up just a hair. Let's see if we can do this with the tablet. I also... I'm crossing over there. Right there. And see, here's the bar on down here. It ain't too on far down the road here. I don't know what the name of that bar is right there. But uh, it's right across here. See here from this... Uh, this is over here by that pawn shop. Now this is where all the gals were hanging out. So I guess they, they got rid of the gals, so now they got the guy. The, the guys are hooking over there now. <laughs> oh my God! Hold on. Oh, and as he's going by, here, 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 here's the guy posing for everybody in the short shorts. <laughs> oh yeah, is it Kansas City? It is Independence, Missouri. Hold on. 
Okay, guys, we'll go to Friday night before we got down there on 23rd. And this guy in this red truck, pickup truck here with the camper shell, he was intoxicated, whether he was alcoholed or stoned induced, it was happening. Now he's crossing back over that line. He's weaving back and forth. He's even going to come off to the right here too. I want to show that real quick. And there's my cursor. And there's where you can see he's back. He's just for holding the line. But he's going to cross back over. Watch this, guys. And he's bouncing back and forth. Look at that. Look at that. He's bouncing back. I'm thinking, I don't think I want to pass this guy until he kind of steadies himself here. Not good, guys. And then he's, look, he's over the line. And he's back again. So hold on. Now this went on for a while. This was uh, southbound. Coming back from Ameristar, 435 Friday night. Let's see if I can darken that in a little bit. Let's see. Let's see if I can, hold on just a second, guys. There, that's a little bit better, guys. Let's see if I can go back. Just a hair more, as you guys can see it one more time here. It was lucky that car, you didn't hit that car. He's over the, look at this, look at that, there he is. Over the white line, look, he's halfway in the center of the road. Now this is Kansas City. Hold on. Okay, guys, so I'm crossing over here this early this morning, took my son to work here. And uh, off to the side here is that vehicle. And that's the vehicle. Let's see if I can stop it. Go back a little bit. And that's the one that guy looked like it was a police officer. Now, uh, I don't know. i get this in a little bit better. Hold on, guys. All right, that's a little bit better. And it's a Jeep. It's black. And uh, it pulled up beside us. And all of a sudden, he just, he just cranked the radio up. It wasn't real, real loud. It wasn't excessive, but it was just going boom, 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 boom. He is sitting over there kind of smiling. Uh, hmm. And then I looked over and I looked at this temp tag on the back side of it. And this temp tag here is from uh, the 23. It's expired. And I was thinking, you know how my pet peeve is here, you know, you know, I pay car insurance. I pay my taxes. Well, if this is actual, uh, you know, a police officer, he should be paying his taxes too. And uh, you should have tags on that vehicle. Nobody's exempt. You know, guys? I mean, if that's the case, and let's call Jeff City and say, guess what? We're not going to charge. We don't have license plates on these vehicles anymore. And we don't have to have taxes. But you know what I want to know? You know, you hear these people all the time say, oh, well, it's a system and stuff. Well, you know, the insurance is there for a reason. It's to pay if somebody gets hurt or in a wreck to pay for their vehicle. That's why you pay insurance out. And if you don't have a license plate and you don't have registration or something else, then, you know, think about this, guys. If you go out and you buy a car, Somebody runs into you, they don't have insurance, you know, what's going to happen? Your car isn't going to get repaired. It's not going to get fixed. You think that's okay? Maybe some, maybe you guys have been smoking too much weed then, if, if you do, because that's that's not right. Now, I know Independence hangs up here. Now, this, this went on. Uh, you know, they go like up there, a lot of uh, employees go eat at the La Fente's. Pretty good Mexican restaurant up there. It's right over off over there. But see, that, that vehicle went on. See, it went on. But I just thought about this. And I thought, whoa, that just, you know, that seemed kind of weird to me. So, just another thing here. This was at 7.30 a.m. in the morning. And when I got back here, there was more drug stuff going on down on 40 Highway. With the homeless. With an, It looked like a... Unless this gal just, you know, what kills me, when I see these people, there's an, it looked like an Infinity or Lexus. It was setting off to the side of the road. And he got these uh, homeless, that some, they use some of these homeless people to run their drugs, hold their drugs, sell their drugs for them. 
We're going to show that too, because when I got back here and I made a loop back around, I had to go to several other places too. Guess what? They were up here by the old strike and spare where the old new gas place is, where, you know, they got a fence around that like a Fort Knox and they're out in front. So hold on. Now, you can't make this stuff up, guys. I mean, this is Kansas City. This is Independence, Missouri. And you see that white car right here coming up? Well, there's, it looks like two homeless people over here. There's a gal who's got her hands in her face, crying and stuff. And then there's this Infinity or Lexus over here. So what's this Infinity or Lexus? Now, this isn't, doesn't look like a city vehicle that would be helping these people. And, you know, it ain't a church van with, you know, uh, you know, something on it. So what's going on here? And on up the road here, see, this is where the, they hide out underneath the railroad track and stuff. They're still doing it. There's a guy up there on a bike. And they've also passed the drugs up there. Well, I get up there. They know my vehicle. They know my son's vehicle. And, you know, then this guy, he crosses on over. I'm going to see if I can bring this in any better, guys. But let's see if I can get this light. I don't know if I can lighten it up. Some of this stuff's so dark. And then, yeah, I'm going to see if I can get it there. Hold on. There, I locked it. So this, this lady is here is crying, bawling. This is a guy here, another homeless guy. But as I go by, there's a, there's a person who gets out of this. Like I say, it's an Infinity or Lexus. Didn't look like it. it did, I didn't see no city tags on this thing. So you tell me Independence, Missouri, and the police department, or maybe State Highway Patrol can take a look at this here. This is where the old, see, this is what called M&H now. This is where the old Sutherland used to be so this is where it's going on and it's over here by the trailer court oh god these ones at the trailer court they're boomers okay so let's just go on down the road and uh don't have to go very far because uh next thing's gonna be is going to be that guy on the bicycle off to the right where all the trucks are at and this is where they jump off over here into the like i say from where the railroad track is and stuff don't worry, <laughs> you'll see it. Well, right here is my cursor, and there he is, right there. And what they do, I mean, what do they give these people? Do they give them 20 bucks, 50 bucks, if they can pass the pills? Say, here, here's a bag of fentanyl or, uh, you know, their meth and stuff. Here, and and because I see cars pulling up to these people, too. Now, these people aren't getting, oh, oh, poor, poor homeless or this, you know, here, I'll give you a buck. That ain't, you don't see them begging here. This is something else going on. And the, this, this on this side over here, this is Kansas City, Missouri's side here. The other side over on this side is the Independence. Now, you know what, also, let's just talk about something else for a second as we look at this. I want you guys to watch this bike and how he's going to go in circles here. And he's going to, you know, he's turning around. He's going to go around. He's just kind of waiting to cross over, I guess. Hmm. But then, he, yeah, he's going to find a cross over. But we know what really gets to me about this. And see, what I found interesting here, <laughs> there's green lights here. If he was waiting, would that be right? Would you cross go across here? Would would he have a green if these are green up here? That don't look right to me, guys. Look, I'm darken that back down. See, this is green. So he's crossing over 40 Highway here. And you see some of these other ones in here. Boy, there's drugs going in. There. There's stuff going on. Oh, yeah. No, no doubt. No doubt. But you know what kills me? They, they took that CBS off 23rd Street. Had them tear it down. Why in the world are they not tearing these buildings down? Somebody's got some pull. Because this is all crud over here. This has been setting way. Used to be independent. Said 90 days. 90 days. Building goes down. Not, we're talking what here now? Years. Not day. I mean, 90 days. Years. So what's going on? I don't know. 
And you notice there, he's gonna, he actually goes back off to the back side over here as I go on down. I'm not gonna get in and show the back deal because it really don't matter because I show this all before. And the graffiti is getting worse over here. There's more graffiti. There's more stuff going on. So hold on, guys. And some of the ones are still hiding back behind these buildings over here. Now I'm gonna back this up just a hair. And then I'm going to play this. You can see that shopping cart. And then, then they'll go back. But this is where I showed massive amounts of trash over here, guys. Back behind this other building. I don't know. It's some kind of, kind of like some kind of uh, cell phone building to sell cell phones and stuff or something. But back over here on this concrete wall, there's there was tons of trash. Still looked like there was some still back there. So hold on. Okay, guys, you can't make this up. I'm back in my area on East 47th Street South. See this black car? Back left wheel, frame is bent. Left wheel here where this guy's crossing over this car right here is bent so bad, it's bent at a 45 degree angle. It won't even steer straight. This other red vehicle is coming across here is, gonna, is its backup to hide me, to try to hide it. Now this thing, this is that one, like I said, I drove all the way out to Bannister because this car was all over the road. Not one cop car between here and Bannister on Blue Ridge. And this, he crossed the line so many times. This car was trying to go to try to try to cross over this line that was with him just to get behind him to hide it. Yeah, this is Independence, Missouri. South side, East 47th Street South. This will be going westbound until we get up here. And head Drake Town way. But I want you guys to see this because I thought, well, is he going to go to one of these car, you know, places where they're stripping them out and stuff? Because that's all they do anyway. And I always thought, well, maybe up in Raytown. This just kept going and going and going. But I want you guys to see this on this vehicle because this is just unbelievable. I'll try to make sure I get this in so you guys can see it too. So it's not blurred or anything. Let me, hold on, let me go on through here. There's the vehicle, that black one. I want you guys to watch this off to the left. Because he this 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 wheel right here. Let's see if I can get it. Wait a minute. Hold on just a second. I want to show this, if I can zoom it in any further, I don't know if I can or not. This wheel is bent at a 45 degree angle. This car looked like it was in infinity, black infinity, it had no license plates on it whatsoever. So if they would hit anybody in this 18 mile stretch area, they'd have been just done. They'd have been done. So hold on. And he was fighting a man to hold it in the road in between the lines all the way. And this, this one was running shotgun in between it like to hide it. Oh God, it was dog tracking to the max, but that left wheel was bent at a 45 degree angle. I mean, you can't make this stuff up. I want to show this if I can, if, if it, because yeah, you, you'll see it again. There it is. There it is. Look, guys. It's been in a 45. Perfect. That was perfect to see. So hold on. All right, guys. So this is Bannister Road. Look. And it's still going. And he crossed over that line, I know, a good 20 times. At least. At least. Here's another segment up in Raytown, and he's right over the line right there. Hold on. This was up getting close to Raytown High School. Look how far over he is. That's how hard he was having to fight it. He's halfway over on that yellow line now. Okay, guys, we'll wrap this up pretty quick here. But, uh... A lot of stuff going on. And I want to also recommend, 
check out these uh, guys that are called the Conservative Twins. They did one a day ago. It's called Get Out, but it's called New York Illegals, now begging for more resources from taxpayers. Not affiliated with them at all, but they tell the truth and they shoot the straight stuff. And uh, I'm going to end this note on something that happened at Ameristar uh, this weekend where there was uh, basically some Latins that almost hit everybody head on in the parking garage, coming out of the parking garage. And uh, like I say, I'm going to show that real quick too. So hold on, guys. So we went up there to Maristar, went up and seen some music this weekend too up there, played a little bit, but this is just crazy. I mean, these people come to this country, they can't speak our language and they can't drive either. Now this truck, this truck got lucky because hold on just a second. It was in front of us because I'm going to show this. This vehicle was head on. And I'm sure glad he was in front of us because uh, this vehicle coming down was going the wrong way all the way. I'm going to show that. And it got out of the way of that truck. Something to be aware of, guys. All right, guys, I'm back. So, a lot of stuff happened here in Kansas City, Independence, Missouri, right down the whole area, complete. From drugs, homeless, craziness. I want to show that. So, you guys need to keep your eyes open. And you know, one other thing gets to me about all this stuff, about how all this is, uh, all this is across the border and stuff. You know, if we went to their country, we would either have to speak their language or have a translator. I notice, like, all the different places now I go, I hear Latin being spoken in, like, uh, like to help them understand what's going on here and there. Back in 1985 was my first time out in California, and I, I believe everybody should have a chance. Everybody should be free, as long as they're legal, in a sense, and have been vetted through here and they went through the proper procedure and everybody should know our our constitution what it was about when they come in here to the u.s and uh i just uh think about like i say when i was out in california in 85 uh, there, there was blacks there was latinos japanese everything else and stuff at disneyland everything else they weren't speaking in spanish over the intercoms to help them understand which way to go or this or that. 